Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 34 here, bringing you guys a beastie game, and maybe the greatest game of all time, Modern Warfare 2. Now, even though this is this is another game that I haven't stepped in like for a full time, even though I don't know anything about this game, I still see like Call of Duty at its peak. Like this was it. This was supposed to be continued. There was no problem for there. There was some certain problems like Commando, Final Stand. And some certain things that, but those were minor though. The rest, like the, uh, you know, the, the the shooting, the animations, you know, all those kinds of stuff. The coloring also, you know, so, you know, because the latest Call of Duties, they've been grayish. Like, what's up with that? How's that gonna work? You know, return the fucking color, make it look like Modern Warfare 2, and goddamn, you got yourself a game. But anyways, um, dressing it up doesn't make it better though. Sometimes because, you know, we all seen what Call of Duty goes has uh, cost. You know, pretty much camos and all that fun stuff you know still won't fix the game um, Modern Warfare 2 even though you know it's, it's one of the greatest games of all time I'm telling you it just had minor flaws it just had minor flaws all it needed to do is just keep the engine that it currently had I don't know what engine it was but god damn it that was the best engine ever I mean the the way the guns reacted the way the shooting is the way um, everything is the way everything is is pretty cool it's just the final stand uh, the Marty Doms, the uh, some of the kill streaks here and there, uh, those could have been fixed. Those those would have been great. But I don't understand what's this bullshit of you know taking away the concept and putting in a new one. Like there was no need to try in some new stuff. This game was it, man. I mean, if I were to see a Modern Warfare 2 veteran right now, like one of those people that used to do a lot of videos about this, because I know most of them already quit or moved on to something else. Um, if you guys try to search. Modern Warfare 2 videos, you can be able to see that most of those Call of Duty channels are dead, are done with, and most of them retired already because they couldn't, you know, understand why uh, Treyarch and Infinity Ward and, you know, Activision were changing this in the engine. It, it needed no change at all. I mean, I play Modern Warfare 3 full time, and compared to Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 is the best. It is the best. It's the best of all time. I think it could beat out Call of Duty 4, but Call of Duty 4 is more competition based since it only had like around three kill streaks and most of the maps were pretty much solid. They were like multi path, but you know everything was tight. That was good for Call of Duty 4. That was that's good for competitive base. Now for public, this game is the shit. For public, I mean you can go in for free for all, team deathmatch, and goddamn you can have the hell of time. It is a hell of a time. I never had so much fun playing Call of Duty in a, in a while. I mean, I just stepped into Modern Warfare 2, and God damn it, where is this game? Where is this concept? Where is this, you know, engine that they had before? Why abandon it? Why did they abandon it? I don't understand it. So, I mean, right now, guys, Modern Warfare 2 is kind of playable. I know sometimes there's mods and stuff like that, but I suggest play it without mods, and you're going to be able to have, like, the most fun time of all time. Uh, compared to any of Call of Duty out there, I mean, it's just too legit, man. Modern Warfare 2 is legit for public, though. <laughs> if you want to turn into competitive game, competitive uh, base gaming, like for MLG players, those fucking suck up motherfuckers, you know, MLG competitive style, make it like Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare 2 is great for public, so instead of doing this Treyarch and Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games bullshit, make it back and forth. Why not? Like Call of Duty 4 style. And then go back into Modern Warfare 2 style, which is best for public. Call of Duty 4, best for competitive gaming. And then like that, back and forth. That would have worked at its best. It would. I think it would have. Instead of making this, you know, I don't know. It's pretty kind of, kind of damn weird, but I think that that's, that's how it should have been. But they're trying out this new shit, this bullshit, and it doesn't even look good. It really doesn't. It's killing the game so much that, you know, I'm in the brink of the, like, just on the edge. I'm at the edge of just abandoning Call of Duty altogether. I mean, Call of Duty Ghost only lasted me three months. Compared to Black Ops 2, which only lasted me six months. And then Modern Warfare 3 was a whole year around. And Black Ops 1 is a whole year around. I mean, where did it go wrong? Like, I don't understand it. I know the original developers of this game were are all quit, have all quit, or moved on to another company, but... God damn it, they should have kept their concepts. They, I think they should have or something going on here because this game is, is like the best. Shit, I wish every single Call of Duty was like this. They just needed to tweak out a few weapons and that's it. Maybe add more weapons along the way and 
we would have the best Call of Duty of all time, but they decided to go bullshit and ape shit, and now we got this piece of shit called Call of Duty Ghost. So anyways guys, the video is about to end, well in a few minutes because I'm uh, right now I'm trying to quick scope for the final kill since I'm like way far away from the second place. Um, I've noticed also that uh, quick scoping in this game is quite impossible for me. So I do give them a uh, thumbs up though. Quick scoping, whoever quick scoped in Modern Warfare 2, god damn it, you guys are legendary. Now that's where I get respect, you know, that's why I give respect to the quick scopers. Modern Warfare 2, because god damn it, that thing is difficult compared to Black Ops 2. If you're quick scoping in Black Ops 2, you'll be you get your ass owned by Modern Warfare 2 players. I swear to God, because it's not the same. Quick scoping in, in, in Modern Warfare 2 is not the same as Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is way too easy. Even I can quick scope. And I made a whole series about it. So, anyways, guys, a little bit of a few announcements here and there. More Call of Duty. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 coming up also, you know, more classics coming in. If you guys want to see more of that, make sure you subscribe for more so you guys can see some Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, World at War, Black Ops 1. You know, all your, all your favorite classics. Not your shitty current Call of Duty game, which is Call of Duty Ghosts. Hell of an embarrassment. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 veterans must be very embarrassed to, you know, represent a game like that I mean I swear I wonder what the what do MLG players think about the game that's what I want to hear I want to hear the real opinion of a guy who actually plays this game full-time man I want to hear an opinion I'm talking about Call of Duty Ghost players so anyways leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up and tell me what you miss about Modern Warfare 2 besides mods and mods <laughs> just um what do you remember of your old days and um, just comment in the comment section so subscribe for more guys more classics coming up yeah.